right, so we're going to cover um, some scheduling for Facebook and Instagram uh, in this uh, post. Uh, and then I'll go over kind of some other content in the next video. Uh, so for scheduling, Facebook actually made a or changed something called Creator Studio, which made it a little bit uh, easier for you to not have to get a third party software, which is nice. Uh, so a third party software is basically something from a different company where you normally have to pay a fee. Uh, so I'm going to show you a little bit about one that I use. I've actually done um, uh, a few comparisons between a bunch of different programs for external sources. Um, and I'll post that as well uh, later. But uh, right now, so what we're going to do is go to Facebook.com. Uh, the big thing to know is that if you have a, um, if you have something, uh, a personal page. So if I go up to my Amanda and I go to my personal page, uh, I cannot schedule. Facebook does not allow me to schedule posts out to here. Uh, so the only things you can really schedule to are, um, groups that you are a admin for. Um, as well as, uh, da, 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 pages that you are, um, part of. So a page is like a business page. So I can schedule posts into here or, um, to groups. Now, simple way that I could do it is go to the group or the page, start writing my posts, and then come down to this little, um, three dots newsfeed instead of share now go uh back date which means i can do it backwards um or i can save drafts now you used to be able to hear schedule it out now it says hey you need to go to publishing tools so if you click publishing tools it's going to bring you to do, 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 this page here um where i can basically create things uh, so I can create a new post like I wanted um, and then I can schedule instead. So things changed a little bit. Uh, this is as of December 2019 with Facebook. Um, so that's the new way that you can kind of schedule. Now this honestly this is intimidating to me. I'm like what post did I make? Uh, so the other way that they made it easy for you to do is the way I recommend getting here is going to Facebook at the top and starting to type Creator Studio. And it's gonna pop up right there. And it's this Facebook shortcut Creator Studio and I click visit. Um, and it's gonna open up this new page. Now, um, with this, at the top you can see Facebook and you can see Instagram. Now, in order to have the Instagram here, um, you have to have your account actually connected. I have another video on that. If you've got questions, go ahead and comment, let me know. Uh, but so Facebook and Instagram, what I can do is I can come up and go create posts. Now it lets me know here which uh, things I can post to. So these are my admin pages. Um, these aren't my groups, so these are my pages. Uh, so what I can do here is I can go create a post or I can upload a video. I can choose where I want it to go. So I'm gonna choose this guy. And then I can start writing my post. I can import a picture, video, whatever I want. Um, and then I can go down here and click schedule. And I can choose when I want it to go, uh, the time, etc., and click schedule. And it will schedule it out for me. Uh, I can do the same thing on the Instagram right here, the Instagram part. So if I go to Instagram, I can go create my post. I can choose what I want it to be, IGTV or Instagram. I can say where I want it to go. Uh, I do need a picture for Instagram. I can also choose to post it to the associated um, Facebook page. So if I'm gonna do this, I usually do Instagram and do it this way so I don't have to do it twice and I just click that little thing and then I can go to schedule down here but since I don't have an image in here um here you go do, do, do. 
Okay, so I can put an image in here, do the post, click that guy, go down here and click schedule and choose it that way. Uh, so that's another way that I can go ahead and schedule things and that's completely free. The downside, you have to go one by one. Uh, there's no way to kind of bulk um, create content so I can't bring in a ton of different posts at once. Um, that's slightly annoying and also oh, this is the only way for you to see it is like this. Uh, you can look at scheduled, archived, published, etc. Um, but there's not a great way for you to be able to visually see when things are going out. The dates are a little confusing to me um, to look at just personally. Uh, so the other thing that I personally use is there's a lot of them. There's Hopper HQ, which is what I've set my mine up for. Um, I only pay to use this for Instagram as I use Instagram mostly and I'm mostly on my Facebook posting to my Facebook personal page. Um, so I don't need it as frequently to have things scheduled, unfortunately. Um, but if you're going that route and Instagram is your main thing, Thing then so I use Facebook personal page and I use Instagram if you're going with the Instagram route um, I've tried quite a few of them um, I've tried um, hopper buffer um, and a bunch of others and I actually I did this a few months ago and I actually have a video comparing them uh, but what I like about hopper is how I can visually see everything so it has a grid planner so I can see things that have published and then I can see what it's gonna look like on Instagram for me as things publish. I can come over to calendar view and I can actually see when are things actually planned to go out. So I'm a huge fan of this. I've had no issues. Um, I had one or two issues and I actually messaged them and they fixed them. Uh, so their customer service is fantastic. Um, I get almost instant responses. It got fixed within a few days. Um, and that's phenomenal for me. So they're really looking to improve. And I like that. Um, they are a tiny bit more pricey, which is why I only have one account through them. Um, but I do like that. So you can have multiple accounts if you want. I only have the one, uh, you can go far out in advance, um, which I like. So I might sit here and do all of something, uh, for a little bit. Um, and you can see I've got posts all the way into March right now and it's December. Uh, so that's personally one of the things I use, but if you're looking for a completely free way, Creator Studio, they're really working on it. You just can't do multiple at once. Whereas in Hopper, um, I can do multiple at once. So if I go to create, uh, I can create multiple posts. So I can just upload a bunch of things at once and then make the video, make things that way. Uh, so. That's a quick and easy way for you to get your content onto Facebook and Instagram um, and how they've changed things. And I hope that helps you out. Uh, feel free to let me know if you've got any questions.